Why hello there viewers of GameZilla and welcome back to me. This is Brian. If you guys don't remember me, I used to post uh, Minecraft on this channel and I'm back. How you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> haven't been recording here on a while. I haven't put an episode for GameZilla in a while. But, um, you know, I've felt so bad because I've been so busy lately. But, you know, I want to start up again doing it. Doing so and recording episodes of the the let's plays for you guys so how you guys been it's been a while it's been a really long time and games of has grown a lot since the last time i was actually here you know they they've gotten like about eighteen thousand subscribers and i myself have grown as well i now have a thousand one hundred and twenty six i think but yeah we've both grown let me see and as you see, I'm playing in a new world right now. I just wanted to start off a new Let's Play, a whole new fresh start to the whole um, Minecraft for GameZilla. This world has a lot of weird structures. And am, am I flying? Oops, I have fly on. I was just on my server and for some odd reason, I left fly on. Oops, let me turn this off real quick. So wait, there you go. Let me change my render distance back to far. And also, since the last time that I recorded, I don't know if you guys noticed, but everything seemed more clear, more sexy, more non-laggy. That's because I got a new graphics card since the last time I actually recorded something for GameZilla. And here it is. This is how it looks. It looks awesome. And all these little monsters here, these little weird looking things and weird noises is because I have the More Creeps and Weirdos uh, mod. And it allows more um, mobs to spawn and more creeps and weirdos. <laughs> Hence the name. More creeps and weirdos. But uh, let me see. With all new Let's Plays begins a new journey, a new challenge, a new everything. I know. Bubbles. You're, you're putting bubbles out your mouth. That's nasty. You must stink over here. If Minecraft had smells, Minecraft, I think it would be stinky. Because you have cows everywhere. You have pigs everywhere. And, ugh, it's just nasty. <laughs> so I'm just collecting my wood now, which the essence of Minecraft brings the the whole collecting of wood the whole survival aspect of it and for those of you who are looking at this game and you're like what the hell is this what is this crap what is this crappy game it's called minecraft and if you've been lost or un in a cave or in another country for the past what year or two then you haven't heard about this but i'll explain what it is it's a 2d 3d game and it's a sandbox type game what i mean by sandbox is that you play it you play it you play it and you cannot stop because it consumes you trust me it does i've played this game the first day i got it i played it for a good what 10 hours and i, I wasn't tired i had to go to sleep my parents had to pull me away from the computer this is what this game does to you you know if, if you have even if it has bad graphics which to me, it doesn't because I don't really judge games upon graphics, but to, to a Call of Duty player or a, let's say a, a Fortress Craft, which is a, the Xbox version of this game, it, it might look crappy to you. It might look like garbage. Like, look, he's hitting something with a block and it looks blocky. I don't like it. Like, don't judge a game upon the, you know, the way it looks because, whoa, dudes, you guys have to shut up. Look, your eyes are going crazy. Your mouth. <sighs> But, you know, you, you should never never judge a game upon the, the actual looks of it. Oh, look, a robot. The actual looks of it because, you know, at times, it's going to be to the point where maybe this game is more popular than, than Call of Duty, which it isn't. Don't do don't come over here saying, oh, my God, you're lying. You know, it, 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 it could get to that point because this game has sold over 3 million copies and it's not even done yet, which means this is the beta of the game. And uh, the, the full version comes out in November. And it's already sold 3 million copies. That's a lot of money and a lot of sales for 3 million people to play this game that you might yourself say, oh, it's crappy. It's sold over 3 million copies. Now I now I know that you guys are saying in your head, huh, maybe I should try this. There's 3 million people out there who've actually played this game and liked it. Maybe I will too, which I suggest you do because Minecraft is, it's awesome. I mean, yeah, you got to pay for it. You got to pay $21 for it, but... You know, the, the things you get is amazing. Why do I say that? Okay, you get the game. You get a whole bunch of mods that you could get for free, which is on minecraftforums.net or .com. I'm not sure. One of the two. And you don't have to pay for the game. So once the, the real actual game comes out, like the final version of it, you don't have to pay for it because you already pay for it. And you get a discount because the, the, the last version of Minecraft, it's going to be a little more. I think it's going to be $31 instead of 21 
So we're getting it at a discounted price. We're getting free updates. We're getting free mods. We're getting free everything. And it's a computer game. So you could be sitting chilling on your computer playing a game that is fairly popular right now. You know, it's, it's not something that's that's not popular or that's not trending right now. Minecraft is trending. If you search Minecraft on YouTube, there's a whole lot of videos, including mine. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's something that really is growing. I'm sorry, I was scratching my eye. It's something that's growing immensely. Like throughout the, these two years that it's had, it's grown immensely for a computer game to do that. For a game that the maker of the game thought it wasn't going to be anything, like it was going to be another little crappy game no one would care about i think that that's a that's a big success right there for it to sell three million copies and it's pretty epic wow i'm commentating great right now like it's sexy my voice sounds great let's keep going <laughs> but um what this game is basically like what you do when you begin what you want to do when you begin is this what i'm doing right now collect your wood before it gets dark and the zombies come out now let me just make sure that i have my difficulty okay it's on normal just so my creepers come out my zombies come out my my skeletons come out, all that stuff, so they could attack. Now, it's a survival game. Like, this right now that I'm playing, single player is basically survival. Now, with the next update that is coming out right now, soon, there's gonna put a, they're going to put a more adventure aspect to it, which is, you know, the whole adventure map type thing. Like, you could explore and talk to people, and they give you little quests, that whole type of thing. I'm going to build over here because there's coal right here, and I need coal. So... Like I was saying, it's it's a, uh, you know, they're adding the whole adventure theme to it now with the next update coming out. But right now, what it is, it's a, uh, as soon as you play it, it's just going to be like a little survival series type thing, like a survival man. Like, go into the wilderness, find this, find that, find your good items, find your, ex find all the resources you need and basically survive. Now, that's, that's the game without mods. If you add mods, they give you a whole wide variety of things to do in this game from flying like I was just doing from flying to, to using guns, to using what laser guns to using, like in this mod that I have right now, the more creeps and weirdos, there's an alien and um, he carries a, I don't like how that looks. Let me, let me make a tour real quick, but he carries a, a actual ray gun and you could use it to your extent, however you want to use it. And it's pretty darn epic. Like mods give a whole, new different view to the game and you know it's it's something that really brings out more in minecraft because you do get boring after a while like it does get boring after a while so doing the whole survival thing like you could play survival for three days and not get tired like if you're that type of person if you can't sit on computer for a really long time probably you'd pro like um you could probably set whoa first position set oh crap i forgot don't don't mind that that's just uh I have single player commands too, and that gives you world edit. So I could world edit stuff in, but it only does it with the wooden pickaxe, with the wooden axe. But um, you know, if if you really are into this type of game, these type of games, you could probably play this game for a good hour and not get tired of it before you get tired of it. Now, if you are into computer games, then you could probably play this game for about what three hours, four hours, five hours most, and if not more, because I've seen, I've heard of people who go whoa 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 crazy on this game and you know even people who, who play call of duty i mean white boy 7th street for example for those of you who ca call of duty heads and i was for a while too and i think i still am i'm not sure but um he tried out minecraft and look he liked it who else um i jericho recently oh it's getting dark crap i jericho recently had the let me speed this up the the whole building process he recently put up some Minecraft. Who else? Um, you know, it, it the list the list extends itself to, to a whole bunch of commentators of Call of Duty who have actually tried this game and, and love it. You know, it's it's awesome. The only thing is that they don't have a good computer to play it on because mostly they just do what they do is just what um, go on YouTube, post some of their videos get some gameplay from ps3 or xbox and go ahead and put their thing up the video but they don't have a really good computer to be able to run minecraft well, at least most of them well at least some of them i'm sorry because most of them are getting good computers now because they're learning finally sheesh <laughs> like they think no, let me not go on a rant but um you know it, it's awesome like having people actually join the community of minecraft because minecraft is growing it's not it's not it's not something small like i said and I have my own server for my subscribers and you know I opened it today again recently and it's going awesome like there's already like 20 people on there 
And, you know, it's it's really something that brings people together, the whole building thing. Because, you know, you could get ideas from people. You could um, make friends. Most of my subscribers, if you talk to them or you ask them, oh, what has Brian done for you? You know, from being on the servers, they have made friends. Like, you can make friends from a game. Like, it's not like Call of Duty where everyone goes, oh, fuck your mother. Oh, this. Oh, oh, oh screw you. Sorry, I cursed. It came out. Slipped out. I don't like to curse. But, um, you know, it. It really brings it out, brings out the friendship in people and it and it brings people together. Like if you ask my subscribers, like I said, they will tell you like I have subs who've made friends on here that are better than their friends in real life. And, and it's something that, you know, which was my main goal from opening my YouTube channel, allow people to be able to make friends without being afraid of them, either a judging them. And if they do is just like, you know, playing around like trolling, a judging them or b being put down because of the way you look or the way you act or any type of thing like yeah if you have a high-pitched voice they're gonna let you know whoa you know your voice is pretty high-pitched but they're not gonna go to the point where they're gonna curse you out and say oh you're gay you have a high-pitched voice what are you doing like it's it, it hasn't gotten to that point hopefully it won't get to that point <laughs> but you know it's it's something that minecraft brings out in people and other games do it too yeah but i'm just talking about minecraft right now since i'm playing with it since I'm playing Minecraft right now, I'm not playing with it because that's only kind of dirty. But, you know, it's a game that's awesome. It's a game that, that really brings out stuff in people that you really don't see in other games. In other games, multiplayer wise. Look, a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. You could scream, you could yell. I don't care. Let me see. Uh, just so they don't get in. Oh, crap, I ran out of wood. Oh, no, I didn't. Nice. I have to make a door soon. Let me actually make a door real quick. I might die if this guy comes up through that door. Uh, door. But guys, take this episode, this first episode of th this Let's Play for Minecraft as a little introduction to myself, as a little introduction to my commentating style, a little introduction to my, you know, to my personality, basically. Because most of you... New subscribers to games that I haven't seen my old work. If you want to see my old work, there's, I think they have a playlist of my Minecraft videos. I only post Minecraft on this GameZilla and on my channel as well. So that's all you're going to see on my channel and their channel. You know, maybe maybe you don't like Minecraft, but you like the way my, my voice commentates. Like, the way I commentate, the way I'm chill back, the way I'm relaxed. I do this in all videos. You can ask my subs. It's it's something that I like to do just to, to cool, to, to make you feel relaxed. You know, you might have a, a horrible day at work. Or at school, if some of you have started school or, or you're on vacation and you're bored and you want to, you need something to do, then, you know, wow, I made a really big house. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, it's it's something to, to to liven your spirits a bit. And that's what I like to do. That's what I like to do. I like to, to, to give the people the opportunity to be able to have something to watch that won't bore them. Hopefully you guys aren't bored right now with me talking, but it's a little introduction episode. It's not like it's this is how it's always going to be. I mean, and it's not that bad either. I'm, I'm telling you guys about a game that maybe you haven't heard of before. And maybe some of you might buy after watching this video and the way that I explained it and stuff. But guys, you know, YouTube has its limits and they don't allow us to post more than 15 minute videos if you're not a partner. Games really isn't a partner yet, but they will be soon, hopefully. And I'll be able to post longer videos on this channel. But my time here has come to an end, guys. This is just the beginning of a beautiful episode, a beautiful series for this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed my commentating style and what I bring to you, what I bring to the table. But guys, my name is Brian. My link to my channel is in the description. If you would like to sub to me, go ahead and uh, sub to me, zombie. Shut up. <laughs> go ahead and sub to me and bring me some love to my channel. You guys are more than welcome to come and be a part of my brotherhood, which is what I call my subscribers, my brothers and sisters. And until next time, guys, until next episode, soon, hopefully, if I'm not too busy. Peace, guys. I'm out.